sorry about that, I am back right now. Uh, I've got a little memory card slotted in. It just gives me an extra 21 minutes. Surprised I used up all my card already. Uh, but anyway, stage three, launch one-to-one -one sessions. An average eight hours of support from staff members or volunteers to help you think through choice and plan your next step. So after that, these are all uh, up to you what times you want and everything. They're just like there to uh, talk to you, what you can do next, uh, just basically guide you from point A to point B. And then to stage four, boost mentoring and financial support. Support to help you achieve your goals. If you chose to go into employment, education or training, you can access six months program mentoring. That's what I really need. So stage four, stage three and four are mainly my main areas. But I do think I need day three and onwards. But the other two are just as good as well. That'll be interesting to do. But I have not booked anything set... No, nothing is set in stone yet. Uh, my advisor at the job centre, Chris, he's... Uh, we're going to try and sort something out with the Pinnacle people. See how that, we'll see where that goes. But honestly, I think I'll get a better job done here with the Prince's Trust. Uh, like I said, their workshops run every three weeks. So if I don't get back to them next week, I'll have to wait another three weeks and set something up from there. So, June time. So give me time to sort things out and accumulate things. But anyway, that's it. And this is the little form they gave me. Uh, I didn't fill it out, but I just wrote a bit of notes on it. Uh, Nottingham Explore Enterprise Programme contact details there. 015... 0115... Uh, the calls will be held 11 to 14th of May 2015 at the P Pavilion Forest Recreational Ground, Gregory Boulevard, Nottingham. In order to obtain place next available four-day workshop, you will need to complete a reservation request below. Spaces are limited and attendance on all four days are co is compulsory for all. The course will run from 10am to 4pm each day. Yeah. It's they said normally 3 p.m. but I'll get to I'll find out more when it's my time to sort it out. Yeah, that's the ooh, Princess Trust thingy doo da. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, that's my Nottingham talk thing done. Take shit back on my camera, my tripod. There you go. Lovely. Um. So what else do I need to address and accumulate with you? Are you up high again? It's because tripod's a bit up. There we go. Um, let's see if I can cram this in before my battery goes as well. <laughs> um, I couldn't stress enough how amazing the trams are. <laughs> um, to a regular person who uses them all the time, it's nothing, but it was awesome! It was like taking a train that's actually a bus on the road. They came every five minutes. I thought that was really awesome. Really awesome. And it, it, it saves traffic on the road. You know, Nottingham's a big city and traffic can be a problem, but it saves a lot of traffic. And it saves a lot of parking as well. And um, businesses. In Nottingham, who want to employ people, some of them don't have enough money to pay for um, driving lessons or buy a car or whatever. That is awesome. Really awesome. I wish most places would do that. Because um, some people don't fancy going on a bus or a taxi. Well, mostly a taxi because, yeah. <laughs> Can be a bit, Im 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 a bit intimidating if you're going in a taxi alone with some stranger. Yeah, it was a really, really nice ride in that tram. Um, uh, the voiceover lady, she uh, kept repeating what stops are next. It was like it was like the underground because I because I did go in the uh, underground subway in London one time. Uh, when I was going to the BBC and other things. It was just like that, but... 
on ground. <laughs> on top of the ground. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, sometimes it, uh, when I was coming back to go get my train, it did get busy, a lot of people on it. Um, so I had to stand up. I was thinking to myself, do I need to press that stop button on it? Because some people were pressing it. I didn't know why they needed to press it for. I don't get it, because it, if it's going to stop at the stops, then what's the use of pressing the stop button? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, it might be some sort of, of m emergency thing or whatever. I don't know, I never understood it, but if it stops at the stop I wanted to stop at, then that's alright, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's all good to me. Um, so today is Thursday. That's it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. As soon as the Pinnacle People rubbish has been ironed out, I'll talk about the Prince's Trust and hopefully get somewhere with them because I kind of want to go with them actually because um, I think it's a good step to go with them because they have workshops and then they have one-to-ones after I mean having a workshop at Lincoln they were, they were interesting yeah but there was never really any mentoring so I couldn't go any further from there it was good to know what I could do during setting up the business, but actually getting it going, that's a whole other story. Um, uh, let's see, what else? <laughs> I was going to say voting, yeah. Thursday, as I'm recording this, uh, the 7th. Yep, it's definitely the 7th. <laughs> My laptop's down here, I've been recording. Um, it was voting day, so I went and voted. Voted around ten past twelve ish time. Ten to twenty past ish. Um I had to vote for the local parliament, so right here. Um something else. County council. That and the uh, the main one that everyone is going to do. Did all them. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. I mean, I always have this um, pet peeve when people don't vote and then they go and complain about the government. I mean, you don't have the right to vote if you have. No, sorry, you don't have the right to complain if you haven't voted. There we go. That was a bit of a mess up. <laughs> Oh dear, words flying all over the place. Oh dear. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, you don't really have the right to complain if you haven't voted. But if you vote, you have the whole right of complaining. Because you did something. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a touchy subject to some people. Um, that's why I don't really go into much detail about it. Because I know there's going to be someone out there who's going to go in the comments and talk about Oh, so and so is rubbish, blah blah blah, your choices are wrong, blah 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 but yeah, plus it's like no one's business to know who I voted and it's none of my business to who you voted but the thing is, uh, what I feel that all the best minds should all come together and actually sort things out rather than fighting, you know that's my only thought. I would definitely vote for that. All the best of minds coming together. Um, yeah. Uh, one last thing. One last thing before I call it a day. Um, one of my brother's friends um, invaded my privacy on Facebook. Um, he asked for my number and just really started to be a and a nuisance, a nuisance. He asked, "Oh, can so and so have 
your number and this guy have your number and can I have your number? I'm like, no, get lost, you're invading my privacy. Of course, I was a bit... Uh, let's see, well, I'll, I, yeah. I was defending myself, I was going to say aggressive, but I was mainly defending myself because it is my personal space. You do not interfere with my personal space. Okay, I need to address this. If, let, let's, let's say this is like um, buildings, let's say. My home is my personal space. If I did not invite you into my home, then you're invading my personal space. If you come to a public place, like a coffee shop, I have no problem there. You have all right of way to be there. I have no control of what you do in this public place. So, my personal Facebook page is my home. My battery is going to go. Hang on.